All right, so let's talk about a couple of ways to make solutions. Uh, in the previous um, calculations, we were talking about how much, uh, how many grams of the salt you, you needed to make a, a solution. And uh, that would be the first direct way to make a solution. Uh, usually what you do is you uh, grab a, what is known as a volumetric flask. And these usually uh, are only calibrated to hold one volume of solution. And so they only have one line on them and say this is a 250 milliliter flask. Uh, in the balance room, uh, you would measure out the mass of the solute that you needed to make the solution. You add that to the volumetric flask and then you add your solvent. If it's an aqueous solution, you would add water um, until, of course, the meniscus of that line hit the volumetric uh, flask calibration mark. And then you would mix it and that would be your solution. Okay, so that's the first direct way you need to make solution. If the solute's a liquid, you could measure out the volume of it. Another way to make uh, solutions is by dilutions. Okay, and so what happens is uh, if you need to make uh, solutions uh, of different concentrations, it's a lot easier to use a dilution method, or if you need to make uh, a lot of um, a solutions, a lot of uh, fresh solutions. Um, uh, periodically you might want to start with a more concentrated solution and dilute it um, whenever you need it and that's a little bit easier okay so what happens is you make a solution via this method by measuring out the mass of solute making the appropriate concentration and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some of that vol volume of what is known as your stock solution and you take a small amount of that out and you were to uh, add it to a new container and you're making a new solution that has a new volume uh, and then you would of course add uh, water to dilute it uh, to whatever uh, volume you needed all right uh, so one of the things you would need to know is how to figure out um, how to calculate the concentration of your new solution or if you know what concentration of the solution you need how much of the stock solution do you need to use and there's a very simple equation uh, for calculating these uh, um, values it is c1 v1 equals c2 v2 uh, where c1 is the concentration of your stock solution using you're going to use v1 is the volume of the stock solution used to make your new solution v2 is your new total volume and c2 is the concentration of your new diluted solution and so this is a really common way to make uh, solutions from uh, stock solutions that have already been prepared. All right, so in solving these types of problems, uh, basically what you're going to be given is three of these variables. Uh, say you have your concentration of your stock solution. You know you want to make a solution of some concentration. You know how much of that solution you need, V2, how much of the stock solution um, do you need to use? Or, okay, you know how much concentration of the stock solution is. Uh, you know what volumes you used of both of the stock solution and your new diluted solution. What's the new concentration? Well, you could solve for C2. Okay. So let's try out one of these um, calculations. All right, so in this problem, they're asking um, how many milliliters of a 1.5 molar Sodium hydroxide solution are needed to make 250 milliliters of a 0.375 uh, molar solution. Okay, so this is the scenario where I know what solution I want to make. I know how much of it I need. I've got a stock solution sitting on the shelf. How much of the stock solution do I need to use? Okay, so if we're looking at this from sort of a diagram view or thinking about what we would do in the lab. Okay, I've got my 1.50 molar sodium hydroxide solution. I want to make 
250 milliliters of a 0 0.375 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. How much of my stock solution do I want, do I need to make, or do I need to make this new solution? Okay, so I just need to use my new handy dandy equation, C1V1 equals C2V2. Now I just need to identify the variables. 1.5 molar, that's the concentration of my stock solution, so I usually call that C1. 0 0.375, that's my new solution, so that's the concentration of my new solution, C2. And I know I want to make 250 milliliters of that solution, so that would be V2. And I'm looking for V1, how much of my stock solution I need to use. So to solve for uh, V1, I need to uh, divide both sides by uh, C1, V1 equals C2V2 over C1. Now I just need to input my values. C2, 0 0.375 molar. V2 is 250.0 milliliters. Divided by C1, 1.50 Molar. If I did my algebra correctly, the unit should make sense. Molarity cancels out, leaving me milliliters, and so that is a good unit for this uh, volume, or it is a unit of volume. Uh, and notice that I don't have to uh, convert to liters, even though molarity is moles per liter. As long as um, if I were to convert this to liters, my answer would just be given in liters, and then I would have to convert back to milliliters for this example. But you can use any concentration terms, you can use any volumes, as long as they're the same um, when you're calculating them. So I could also use this for percentage, uh, percent by mass or percent by volume as well. But anyways, let's calculate this value. 0.375 times 250 divided by 1.5 is 62.5 and with three sig figs that looks good so 62.5 milliliters is how much of the stock solution I need to use to make this solution so what I would do is I'd measure that probably because of the volume I probably measure it with a hundred milliliter um, graduated cylinder I'd pour it into a 250 milliliter volumetric flask and then add enough water until meniscus hits the calibration line.